Hey, my name's May, and I saw this trend on TikTok. Did you know I liked you? No. Not until I sent her this form. And from a YouTuber named Jazzy Ann. Do you ever like me? Yes? Since it's quarantine and honestly, I have nothing better to do, I'm gonna do it today. So the layout of it is, surprise or not, I had a crush on you once. I, May, have had or currently have a crush on you. What's your name? Are you queer? Because yes, I am sending this to a couple of straight girls. Yikes. Did you know that I liked you? If you knew, how do you know? Did you like me back? Would you have given me a chance if I made a move? Rate my attractiveness. Rate my personality. Rate my dateability. What's our relationship now? Any final words and then just ask them if they're okay to be in this video. And I also give, I'm giving them an option to put a photo so maybe you guys can see what all my crushes look like and you can see my type. Just kidding, I actually don't have a type. Wow, I'm a lot more nervous than I thought I was gonna be. Okay, 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 okay. Just do it, right? <laughs> wow, this is so scary. <laughs> okay, we're done. <sighs> For the past day, I don't think, <laughs> I've never felt so much anxiety in my life, maybe. And I didn't even think I was gonna like care that much. I was like, haha, this is not a funny game. Um, Until I started getting texts and calls from these girls that I haven't talked to in so long. <sighs> okay, this is my friend Gwen. Are you queer? Yes. Did you know that I liked you? Had a feeling. You knew. We talked about it. If you knew, how did you know the suppressed sexual tension? <laughs> did you like me back? Yes. Aww. Would you have given me a chance if I made a move? She said yes in all capitals. My genie yourself would have just died saying that. Rate my attractiveness 10. Rate my personality 10. Rate my dateability 10. Okay, Gwen. She said we chill. Any final words, 10 out of 10 would still hit. Honestly, I know you have a boyfriend, but like, same. Maya is somebody that I talked to my freshman year of high school. She's honestly like the first girl that like ghosted me. What's your name, Maya? Are you queer sometimes? Yeah, that was kind of our issue. Did you know that I liked you? No way, I'm actually surprised. Okay, that was like definitely a fake answer because we fully like talk. If you knew, how did you know? <laughs> she said I was convinced that you took a $300 Uber to my house. Oh my God, I literally Ubered from Chicago to Michigan to see this girl. Yes, I am a lesbian. Did, did you like me back? She said, I'm still in love. I don't know if this girl's serious ever. Like she literally could like be actually in love with me and I would think that she was making a joke, so. Would you have given me access if I made a move? Wish you would have. Okay, I try, I'm, um, anyways, rate my attractiveness 10, rate my personality 10, thank you. Rate my dateability 10. What's your relationship now? You're one of my favorite people and I'm sorry you met me. Oh, that's sad. Well, I am not sorry that I met you. And she is one of my favorite people too, honestly. She's a great girl. Sometimes things don't work out. Sometimes we're meant to be friends with people and that's fine. Any final words? I'm team India. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so India, Spoiler alert, I sent her this and I hope she answered. Um, is a girl that I'm like currently talking to? Next is Chelsea, who we have been literally talking on and off since our junior year of high school. Like we almost went to the same college. We always like talk for a second and then stop talking and then talk for a second and then stop talking like in between all of our relationships. Are you queer? Yes. Do you know that like you guess was so opt that if you knew, how did you know? We confess. <laughs> We confess our love to each other every two months. Uh, painfully true. Did you like me back? Yes. Would you have given me a chance if I made a move? Yes. Rate my attractiveness 10. Rate my personality 10. Wow, honestly, these girls are really hyping me up. I feel like they just feel like they have to say it, but like, I'll take it. Uh, rate my dateability 10. What's our relationship now? <laughs> she said, may please date me. All right, bitch, call me then. We've literally been saying this since high school. Like, I don't, it's never gonna happen, but. A girl can, a girl can hop, you know? <laughs> Any final words, I love you. Oh, I love her so much. Wow, it's just like making me so giddy. Okay, next, Emma. So this girl, uh, I also talked to my freshman year of college, like actually right before I started dating my last serious girlfriend. What's your name? Emma, are you queer? Very, did you know I liked you? Yes, it was so obvious, duh. If you knew, how'd you know? You literally came over to my dorm when you were drunk many times. <laughs> like I said, drunk may really have something to say. Did you like me back? Yes. Would you have given me a chance if I made a move? <laughs> she said yes, and moves were kind of made, lol. Yeah. Rate my attractiveness, nine. Rate my personality, eight. Damn, wonder what I lost two points for. Maybe it was like the whole ghosting for absolutely no reason, but an eight, I'll take it. <laughs> Rate my dateability, four. Okay, valid. What's our relationship now? I asked you advice about moving to LA and we're on each other's close friends list, so I would say we're tight. Honestly, true. That is the definition of friendship at this point. That was not bad. I was actually nervous about her as well because I was kind of a dick to her. 
Maggie. Okay, Maggie is one of my childhood friends. She's one of the first girls I had a crush on, like growing up. I think I had a crush on her when I was like 13. Like it was very, before I even like knew I was gay, I knew I liked her. It was so, but she's like one of my best friends now. I fucking love her. Are you queer? Yes. Did you know that I liked you? No way, I'm actually surprised. Did you like me back? No. Damn, my first no. Would you have given me a chance if I made a move? Yes, the fuck. <laughs> Rate my attractiveness 10, baby. Rate my personality 10. Rate my dateability 10. <laughs> What's our relationship now? We chill. Yeah, we're like literally best friends now. Any final words? She said, when we doing this thing? <laughs> Bitch, call me. We can do whatever you want. Susan, this was... Okay, I really thought that this girl was straight, but I have since found out that she's not. Um, but she was in one of my classes my junior year, so like last year. Um, and we hung out like a couple of times. She was like one of my friends in Philly and like before I moved to LA. So let's see. She said, are you queer? Kind of heteroflexible if you consider that a thing. Mostly straight, sometimes gay. <laughs> what an explanation. Thank you for the clarification, babe. Did you know that I liked you? Had a feeling. If you knew, how'd you know? When you ranked in your Twitter mutuals that you would tap. Oh my God, I made this thing of like mutuals on Twitter that I would hook up with and she was she was on the list. Did you like me back? Yes, oh my God. Would you have given me a chance if I made a move? Hell yeah, are you kidding me? <sighs> wow, the missed opportunities. Rate my attractiveness 10, rate my personality 10, rate my dateability 9. Why not a 10, huh, Susan? What's our relationship now? Cross country support buddies, always rooting for you from afar. Oh, that's so nice. Any final words? Oh my God, this is so nice. She said, I love you, May, and I love that you're doing your beautiful social media thing. <laughs> I'm so honored to be included in this. I stay crushing on and admiring you from 3,000 miles away. I gave you a nine for dateability because you are 3,000 miles away and long distance low key sucks compared to in real life. You know this. Anyhow, I love you and want to go nasty squash with you again. Oh, that was so sweet. The line between like dating and friendship in lesbian relationships is so confusing. Like, I don't know if I wanna be you, if I wanna be with you, if I just like wanna be your best friend. Jessica. So Jess is somebody that I met on Twitter when I was literally like 14, but I always had like a little crush on her because I thought she was so pretty. Are you queer? Yes, did you know that I liked you? Didn't know, hee hee, I'm known to be oblivious when I'm being crushed on unless I'm told, yeah. Definitely never expressed it to her. Did you like me back? She said, attracted to you, but never got the chance to get to know you better. Very valid. Would you have given me a chance if I made a move? Yes, okay. Rate my attractiveness 10, rate my personality 10, rate my dateability 10. I love these girls. See, I pick nice girls. They're all being so nice to me. I know these bitches do not all think that I'm a 10 on dateability. Like, if I was a 10, you'd be dating me. But like, go on. What's our relationship now? I wish we hung out more. Any final words? Laughing at myself for not catching on that you've ever crushed on me, even though we've matched on Tinder. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Lesbians are stupid, but it's okay. We're at India. This is what I'm nervous about because like I said, like we're literally talking right now. Like we're not, she's not my girlfriend, but like we're talking. We've been talking. So like I'm scared. Okay. <sighs> are you queer? Hell yeah, I am. Did you know that I liked you? Not so odd at first, but yes. If you knew how do you know oh my god, my heart is beating so fast. I literally feel like I'm gonna throw up. Okay. If you knew how did you know? We'd stay up talking to the birds came out almost every night. True, we did literally stay up to like 3 a.m. every single night texting. Did you like me back? I guess you could say a little more than like. Would you give me a chance if I made the move? Duh, too bad I made the first move twice. What? Okay, I, this is irrelevant, but I need everybody to know I made the first move, not her, and we are gonna have a talk about that. I literally, okay, whatever. Rate my attractiveness 10, thank you. Personality 10. Dateability 10. What's our relationship now? Speaking of an unofficial DTR. Oh my God, yeah, we have not DTR. We've been talking for like three months. I'm like, you still haven't DTR, so. That's on being terrified of commitment. Any final words? I she said, I kind of really want you to be my girlfriend. So here's me wanting to officially DTR dot dot dot. Hi. Uh, okay. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to this one, I think. Um, so maybe we'll give an update on that. Oh my God. Okay. I like don't even know. Okay. Oh my God. I'm gonna call her. <laughs> Mystery girl. Okay. This is another one I was really nervous about. This girl, honestly, I ghosted pretty, pretty, pretty severely. So I'm a little bit nervous about her. So let's see. Are you queer? Yes. 
Did you know that I liked you? I thought you did and then you did a 180. Oh God, it's already bad. If you knew, how did you know? We literally talked every night and you flirted with me nonstop. Did you like me back? Yes. Would you have given me a chance if I made a move? <laughs> she said, bitch, I did and you pulled out. Okay. Rate my attractiveness, nine. Rate my personality, five. Ugh. Yeah, I'm valid, I was a dick. Rate my dateability, two, also valid. What's our relationship now? Oh. You ghosted me after three months of what I thought was exclusive talking and then haven't spoken to me until you sent this, so not great, but no hard feelings. Okay, she really went in. Honestly, I deserve it, but like, ouch. <laughs> And that was the last one. This was honestly such a fun experience. I definitely was so nervous. And honestly, like, I still, like, I'm kind of, like, shaky a little bit still. Because, like, that was a whole lot. Like, I feel like I just, like, went into my old diary and, like, dug up all these past feelings. <laughs> um, but to every girl that I've ever had a crush on, uh, you're all great and beautiful. And there's a reason that I had a crush on you. So maybe do this maybe don't if you're sensitive <laughs> but if you're bored honestly go for it it was really fun so that's it